Hey friends, this is Atif Opir well, and welcome to the new update on Ocean Protocol. In today's analysis, we will take a look at this big falling wedge pattern. And right now, you can see that the price line has left this pan and, and moving above this support. And we will also want this up channel as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. And first of all, let me to uh, share my recent trade setup of Ocean Protocol uh, with you that I shared for my members uh, at YouTube and also at the Patreon as well, almost two days ago. And that was a harmonic bullish reversal setup. And by the way, this was the chart. And you can see uh, when I shared this chart at that time, it was uh, completing the final leg of a harmonic bullish reversal cipher pattern. And before this, by the way, Ocean Protocol had a nice breakout from this uh, falling wedge pattern that I also shared with my members as well. And you can see uh, the target, the first target was at $1.05 after this breakout. And the second target was at $2.25, uh, sorry, uh, $1.25. And when I shared this idea at that time, it was moving at 94 cents. And by the way, this breakout happened on the four hour time frame chart. And below this uh, support line was our stop loss. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price line pumped very well. We had a nice pump up to $1.44 beyond the final target of this falling wedge pattern. This time I shared this harmonic bullish reversal uh, setup and I told my members that uh, Ocean Protocol is completing the final leg of a harmonic bullish reversal cipher pattern. By the way, this pattern was formed on the two hour time frame chart. And as for the Fibonacci sequence, I was expecting that it can drop more to complete this final leg. Uh, you can see it was dropped up to uh, 17.55 cents and our buying zone was starting from 17.43 cents and goes to 17.14 cents. But if I play this chart, then you can see that it was very close to complete the final leg, but could not complete. And we had a nice pump uh, that is started before completion of this final leg. And the reason that stopped the price line to move more down from here uh, was a hidden bullish divergence on the four hour time frame chart. We can see that uh, the price line was moving up and it was forming higher uh, than pre a higher low than previous low while the oscillator, the stochastic, is moving down and, and it is forming lower than previous lows. So there was a hidden bullish divergence that was a big reason uh, for this uh, reversal move. And the price line is also bounced from the support of the channel that has been formed on, on the 4-hour time frame chart. And this time the resistance will be approximately here at uh, 19.5 cents. And for example, if it will uh, break out the resistance of the channel, in that situation because it, it is possible that it may break uh, break out because we have a hidden bullish divergence on this chart and the target will be approximately at 21.2 cents now if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart then we can see that it is nicely forming different uh big big patterns like uh, here we had a big uh descending triangle on this weekly time frame chart we had a nice pump and again it formed another falling wedge pattern we had a nice pump after the breakout this time it formed a, a bigger falling wedge pattern than the previous one and now it has uh, broken out the resistance but still moving sideways above this support this support is very important that is also the recent swing low before this breakout now it can break out this strong support for the price line and it can be also used as a stop loss we can set our stop loss below this level if we want to trade this falling wedge pattern this breakout from this falling wedge pattern by the way this support we have at 15 cents and previously this level has been working as a nice resistance here back in september 2019 and also as a resistance and support here as well therefore you can observe that for the past several weeks or months it is again working as a nice support and this will be a uh, key resistance here that we have at 34 cents and uh, this is the major key resistance in order to start a big move from here we need to break out and you can see previously it has been working as a support here support here support here therefore it can again work as a strong resistance in here it worked 
in fact it worked as a strong resistance and by the way the target for this bigger uh, falling wedge pattern will be here at the top of the red that will be approximately at one dollar and 36 cents so this was the update so far i hope that you've liked the analysis then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more ideas you can also join me and support me as a youtube member or as a patreon member because here i'm sharing different trading ideas for you and you can find the link to join me here in the video's description i've shared take care goodbye